Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Um, in this video, we'll take a look at the PDB Snapshot Carousel feature introduced in Oracle 18C. Oracle 12.2 introduced the PDB Archive feature, which we covered in a separate video. In Oracle 18C, a PDB Snapshot is effectively just a PDB Archive file, but the database remains available during the creation. A PDB Snapshot is therefore a point-in-time copy of a PDB, which can be used for recovery purposes or to produce new PDBs, based on the specific point in time. These snapshots can be created manually or automatically. A snapshot carousel is a collection of snapshots for a PDB. Once the maximum number of snapshots is reached, the next snapshot creation triggers the removal of the oldest snapshot, making it seem like these snapshots are overwritten in a circular manner, hence the term carousel. We can create a PDB snapshot carousel during PDB creation using the snapshot mode clause of the Create Pluggable Database statement. In this example, we're asking for a snapshot to be taken every 24 hours. We're using Oracle Managed Files, so we don't have to worry about path conversions for PDB creation. If you aren't using Oracle Managed Files, you'll need to include the file name convert parameter to handle the file path conversions. Once the PDB is created, we open it in the normal way and we see it in the list. The CDB PDBs view includes the snapshot mode and snapshot interval columns. We can see PDB2 has a snapshot mode of auto and a snapshot interval of 1440 minutes or 24 hours. We can alter the snapshot mode of an existing PDB but we must be connected to the PDB container to do this, so before we start, we'll switch to the PDB2 container. We use the alter pluggable database command to change the snapshot mode. Here we set the interval to 2,999 minutes, then 1,999 hours, both of which are the maximum settings for their time qualifiers. We then switch the snapshot mode to manual, so there's still a snapshot carousel, but not automated snapshots. We can disable the snapshot carousel by setting the snapshot mode to none. Finally, we switch it back to the original value of 24 hours. The maximum number of snapshots in a snapshot carousel is controlled by the max PDB snapshots property. This can be displayed using the CDB properties view. We can see we have a value of 8, which is the default and the maximum number of snapshots in a carousel. We can change the max PDB snapshots property for a PDB using the alter pluggable database command. Here we set the property to 0, which deletes any existing snapshots. Then we switch it back to the default value of 8. When the snapshot mode is set to manual or automatic, we can create manual snapshots using the alter pluggable database snapshot command. If no name's given, the snapshot is given a system generated name. If we want to, we can provide a user defined snapshot name. Remember, these snapshots are effectively PDB archives, so they can take a long time to create if the database is big. The CDB PDB Snapshots view allows us to display information about existing snapshots for a PDB. Here we can see the three snapshots we created, one with a system generated name and two with user defined names. If you're using Oracle Managed Files, the PDB archive files are placed in the location specified by the DB Create File Dest parameter, otherwise they're placed in the same directory as the PDB files. We remove snapshots using the alter pluggable database drop snapshot command, specifying the snapshot name, whether it's user defined or system generated. To create a new PDB using a snapshot, we must first switch back to the root container. We use the create pluggable database command with the from clause indicating which PDB it's based upon and the using snapshot clause to identify the snapshot of interest. In this example, we've enabled a snapshot carousel for the new PDB, 
but this isn't necessary. Once the PDB is created, we open it in the normal way. There are a few things we need to consider when using the PDB snapshot carousel. As we've mentioned before, a snapshot is effectively a PDB archive, which is itself a zip of all the PDB data files. You have to consider the impact of these archive operations running on your database server. If your server is already under high load, adding these operations to the mix may not be a great idea. Remember also the archives take up disk space. You'll need to factor that into your calculation about what snapshot settings are appropriate. This feature is currently restricted to Enterprise Edition on Engineered Systems and Enterprise Edition or higher in Oracle Database Cloud Services. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.